The Missouri River Recovery Program is a joint effort of many federal, state, and local agencies headed up by the United States Fish and Wildlife Service and the United States Army Corps of Engineers to recover the Missouri River to the greatest extent possible for the benefit of all the basin's inhabitants. The vision of this program is to provide a sustainable ecosystem supporting thriving populations of native species while providing for current social and economic values. The ecosystem of the Missouri River provides habitat for a wide variety of wildlife, including three species under federal protection, the endangered least tern, the threatened piping plover, and the endangered pallid sturgeon. Little is known about the specific habitat requirements of the pallid sturgeon. However, since the construction of dams, wild populations of pallid sturgeon have declined to the point at which they were added to the endangered species list in 1990. The pallid sturgeon is a primitive fish, and it its characteristics show that, with a shark-like tail and armored plates on its backs and sides. The fish can grow to be six feet long and weigh about 80 pounds. With poor vision, the pallid sturgeon uses their barbels or whiskers to help guide them. The fish shown here is in search of food along the river bottom. The pallid sturgeon swallows its food whole with a sucker-type mouth. Staff and volunteers from many state and federal agencies are involved in broodstock collection, captive rearing programs, and the research and monitoring of this highly endangered fish species. There are six hatcheries where pallid sturgeons are raised. They are located in Bozeman and Miles City, Montana, at Garrison Dam in North Dakota, Gavin's Point Fish Hatchery near Yankton, South Dakota, and at Blind Pony and Neosho in Missouri. Eggs are collected from females ready to lay eggs. Fish hatchery personnel monitor the water temperatures and the hormone levels of the fish to determine when spawning should occur. When ready, a syringe is used to collect the sperm from the males for the fertilization process. The sperm and eggs are mixed together to accomplish fertilization. During the mixing process, the eggs and sperm used to be stirred with a turkey feather. Now they use air bubbles to mix the milk with the eggs. In the wild, where spawning is external, it is believed that few eggs are fertilized. It takes seven to 10 years for males and 12 to 15 years for females to reach sexual maturity. Once fertilization occurs, the eggs are placed in jars until they hatch. A constant supply of fresh water is provided to the eggs, causing them to rotate and providing oxygen. Once they hatch, the young are able to swim to the surface and into a larger tank. One of the ways the researchers use to identify captive raised pallids is to inject a small plastic rod or elastomere into the rostrum or snout. The color of the elastomere and its angle of placement helps identify the year and the hatchery where the young pallid sturgeon was raised. Another method of identification used is called the pit tag, which carries information on a barcode. Passing a wand over the snout can reveal the fish number and from that the vital information about the young pallid. Young sturgeon can be released back into the river. If a sturgeon with an elastomere is recaptured, a pit tag is inserted, making identification easier if the fish is recaptured again. A shovel nose is shown on the left and a pallid on the right. Note the differences in their barbels. There are other differences, but the barbels are the easiest way to distinguish the two. The pallid, on the right, has a V-notch cut out of one pectoral fin. This notch was taken for DNA testing purposes and it will grow back. Help protect the pallid sturgeon by obeying all fishing regulations. If you catch a pallid sturgeon, release it back into the river as soon as possible and notify the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. For more information, visit the Missouri River Recovery Program, Missouri River Institute, and the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service's websites.